Today's video is sponsored by Kadoodle. 3D printing is amazing, and despite myself being what I'd consider a beginner, I think it's one of the most fun and, dare I say it, liberating hobbies I've got involved in. It's allowed me to be a bit more creative and also open my eyes to the amazing community that has spawned from it. There are millions of designs freely available all over the internet, and I'm sure there is something for almost anything you can think of. However, it can be quite complicated and isn't really that friendly for kids. Now I don't have kids, but I do have a lot of friends who have them. You may also have them yourself. So what naturally happens when a hobby becomes so popular amongst adults? Well, kids will no doubt want to get in on the action, and this is where Kadoodle has decided to step in. Kadoodle have developed a brand new 3D printer launching on Kickstarter aimed specifically at kids. And I will say, it's pretty cool, and I wish I had something like this growing up. So let's take a look, shall we? Firstly, we have to agree that this small printer looks fantastic, and you can tell it was designed with children in mind from the get-go. It's small, it'll be available in various colours, mine being the very clean-looking white version. It has a bright, colourful touchscreen with a playful interface, there's a filament poop tray, and it's fully enclosed with safety at the heart of its design. For instance, the printer is completely enclosed with a child safety sensor. This is a big deal as a large majority of the full-size 3D printers require you to purchase an enclosure. Being enclosed allows you to retain heat for which helps with producing good quality prints. It also has a semi-transparent cabin door which allows you and your kids to sit and watch as it prints off one of the many designs that are available. But what if you're a curious kid or a carefree adult who decides they want to open the door for a closer look? Well, this is where a powerful safety feature will kick in. If the door is opened, it will immediately shut off the nozzle and reduce the temperatures drastically. This means the likeliness of your child burning themselves is greatly reduced. And trust me, you do not want to touch a hot 3D printer nozzle. It really hurts. Another safety consideration of this printer is that everything mechanically is encased in the ceiling box. This design stops children from accessing any moving or high temperature components. Further ways they've made this child safe is the inclusion of a child lock that requires a password to unlock the printer's print functions at any time. It's a simple but effective way of stopping someone from accidentally hurting themselves and using up all your filament when you're not looking. So creating a 3D printer for kids is one thing, but how are you going to simplify the way they use it? Most 3D printers use a slicer to cut up a design into G-code in order to send the information to the printer. This information is essentially a planned route that is mapped out for the nozzle to distribute filament, which then builds your model from the ground up. This can be very complicated, and if you don't know exactly how to set up your printer to make these types of models, it can take a very long time perfecting them and achieving a smooth and consistent print. Not to mention, you can burn through a lot of filament and make a big pile of spaghetti mess if you don't know what you're doing. This is where the Kidoodle 3D app changes it all. This app, which you can download on the App Store or Google Play Store, is the one-stop shop for all the toys you could want to print. They're all categorized from educational, puzzles, characters, or even creative items. All you have to do once you've linked your printer to your account is find the model you want and tap create. This then sends the model from the app over the cloud to your printer, and it's as easy as that. How fast does it print? Well, a classic 3D Benchy takes only 18 minutes to complete. This is achieved with an impressive 600 millimeters a second build speed. So whether you're printing off a multi-sided dice, letters of the alphabet, or even a Mayan temple, you're going to be printing a lot of things in very little time. Speaking of filaments, these little spools are absolutely adorable. They're PLA, which is environmentally friendly, non-toxic, and safe to use around children. This means there will be no toxic fumes blasting out of the printer, so rest assured, this is safe to use. They'll be available to buy direct from Kidoodle, or if you're familiar with 3D printing, you can buy third-party spools, but be aware, they may not fit on the back of the printer. But what are the prints like? Well, it's been a good experience with only three failed prints so far, I try to get a nice blend of what's on offer within the app from simple designs to more complex and a couple of useful ones, starting with this wolf model. This was probably the one model which I had the most difficulty with. I couldn't print it on max speed and after two failed attempts and a lot of glue on the print bed, I managed to get it to print on the slow setting. I'd recommend using a lot of glue and a slower speed for any model which has a thin base or legs for that matter. So anything like an animal or chair models, slow that print right down. 
This whistle printed really well on the fast setting, taking only approximately 15 minutes, and after washing off the glue, I was very surprised at how loud this thing is. You're gonna have to trust me, but it's deafening. Next up is a multi-sided dice. Now, this has a fair bit of detail and an odd shape, so it's a bit of a challenge to get looking good. The detail on the fastest setting was passable, there's a few layer lines, but the bottom side did lose a lot of detail and some of the printing was messed up. I reprinted again on regular speed and it worked out okay. The bottom layer was better, but I actually found overall it printed better on the fast setting. This bearing is pretty big considering the build plate volume this printer offers and it's also a working moving part. The underside isn't the best print quality I've ever had, but the top and sides are passable considering I did this on a fast print and it still rotates, which I think makes it a pass. So it's safe to say you can print moving parts with this printer. Now ultimately the question is, what sort of age range would this printer be good for? Personally, I think any child from four to 10 years would really benefit from this. They can print off items which can help them study, understand how things are put together and entertain them all at the same time. It's ultimately a great tool for education and a fun activity for the whole family to enjoy. Plus, if your child has any sort of dollhouse or action figures, there are a lot of items in the creativity category which you can print off to complement them, like trees, fences, chairs, plants, and more. It's a great starter printer for kids that perfectly sets them up for a full-size 3D printer later in life. Check out the description of this video for more information on the printer and a link to the Kickstarter campaign. Thank you so much for watching, a further thank you to Kidoodle for sponsoring this product showcase, and click subscribe if you aren't already. I will be producing a few more videos related to 3D printing in the very near future.